right where it needs to be. Latvia, Russia, Korea, Israel, and Taiwan, and the referee from Jordan, Yunis Nabe. He's looked really composed, Osman, in that first fight against Katoyan. Who rose and beat in in his final to win his European youth title. Osman just looked full of belief right from the start of the fight. Rosanov is in the red and Usman of Turkey in the blue. Flying through these fights today, 28 in total in, in ring A and in ring B, just a 20 odd minute break in between sessions. Absolute feast of boxing. The Hala Ligionov over the last few days. And many of you have been following it on the Aiba Boxing YouTube channel as you are now. And if you could just click subscribe, that would be handy. Round one. So into the first round, Rosanov, European Youth Champion, Southpaw in the red, boxing for Bulgaria. Karim Osman, Turkey in the blue. Upset the odds to dispatch Tengiz Katoyan of Russia in the opening round, then beat Asket Kultaev. No knockdown. Rosanov, a tricky opponent, boxes out of that kind of crouch. Always keeping that head on the move. Not exaggerated movement, but just enough. One two there from Rosanov. Both of them coming forward at exactly the same time there, meeting in the middle. Wide right hand there from Usman and the referee allowed him to box on, and that was a snappy. Little combination there from Rosanov that got through. He's got very quick hands. Osman will not be able to match him for hand speed on the inside. It's the final minute of round one. It's been quite scrappy this so far. There's been quite a lot of that. And just coming together in the centre. A little bit of holding. A little bit of hanging on. Plenty of intent with those shots there, but nothing really got through clean. That's a nice long left hand there from Rosanov. Very easy to see for the judges as well, which in a round when not that much has happened is is what you want. <laughs> Little left on the inside there from Rosanov. The referee giving them plenty of time to try and work out, work their way out from the clinch. goes at the end of the round. Rosanov with the edge there, I think, in the, in the effective clean punching. <laughs> so 
And he gets it across the board, 10-9. So good start for him. And Osman now behind the eight ball a bit. Seconds out, please. That was a good right hand from Osman there, just thrown off the back foot as, as Rosanov was, was closing in. You've got to try and maintain your composure when you're boxing somebody like Rosanov because when he moves in, he moves in quick. Right hand to the body there was a good shot from Osman. Left hand from Rosanov. Osman looking to be more aggressive at the start of the round with that wide right hand. He's looking to try and fight fire with fire a bit more here, and I think this is probably the right thing to do. If he stands off Rosanov too much, then it's not going to work out for him because, as I say, those quick attacks, those quick raiding missions for Rosanov, it's very difficult to match him for hand speed and quite hard to catch him on the way in. Osman may as well just take it to him here and see what happens. Doesn't want to be too gung-ho, of course. At this level, you can't just go wading in, but... Jab his way in, look and try, try and set up some attacks. Well, the referee eventually getting involved there and just breaking the two of them up. Just fainting with the left hand there, Rosanov. Osman looking to try and get on the jab and follow in with the right hand. Rosanov physically a very, very awkward fighter to, to come up against because he's full of that kind of fast twitch. He's fit, he's strong, and he closes down that distance when he springs at you so, so rapidly that it is very, very hard to, to counter him. A lot of the time you end up clashing on the inside. Off balance there, Osman, as he threw that right hand, it didn't land and took him away to his left hand side. Good short right hand on the inside there, and Osman just. Uh, I don't know, the legs, the legs just maybe went just a tiny bit there, but he looks solid as he walks back to the blue corner. Some split scores there, but it's a scenario that we've had a few times actually over the last few fights. We've got one fighter two points ahead on three of the scorecards and the other two scorecards level, so this requires a massive final round from, from Karim Osman. You can't just win it, he's got to win it big. And then hope that a decision that would go to judge's opinion would, would go his way, so... He's got a lot to do. Third round. 
third and final round. Radoslav Rosen of Bulgaria, he's in the red, the European Youth Champion, up against Karim Osman of, of Turkey. He's had a very good tournament, knocking out Tengiz Katoyan of Russia. European Youth Silver medalist in his opening bout, what was a big upset. And then outpointing Askat Kultayev, another good fighter from Kyrgyzstan. So, a lot to be proud of here for him if he does go out here. That was a lightning fast left hand, straight left hand there from, from Rosanov. And Osman didn't see it coming and was moving forward, was straight onto it. <laughs> left hand on the inside there from Osman, looking for a, a big right cross there. Right hand. There from the Turk as well. A good few seconds there for him. Landing two or three good solid punches. He's having a bit of joy here, Osman, in the middle minute of, of round three. He's found a more effective way of putting Rosanov under some pressure, whose, whose work rate has maybe just dipped a little bit. He's moving in behind the jab there and trying to throw the right hand and then just marching across the ring to try and cut that ring off on him. The game is up here for Osman, really, because unless he can do some serious damage in this final minute, then even if he does win this round, it'll only be 10-9 and he needs 10-8. Missing with the left hand there, Rosanov just looked a little bit weary with that one. As I say, I think the, I think the pace has got to him a touch. It's been boxed at a, a lively tempo, this. So Rosanov with the way he fights, it is a tiring way to fight. I talked about that kind of fast twitch movement. There's plenty of, of use of the legs. There's plenty of upper body movement, lateral movement. That takes it out of you. But he's done enough here. Rosanov raises those two red gloves and with good reason he'll be making his way through to the to the semi-finals a bronze medal guaranteed for the European Youth Champion And as I was saying, he did have some joy in that final round, Osman. He's a good fighter. He's had a really good competition. Ladies and gentlemen, a win five points with unanimous decision. From the red corner, Radoslav Rosenov, Bulgar. Well, he's disappointed there, Osman, but a nod of the head. I think he, he knows that he didn't quite manage to get the measure of, of Rosenov, who is a difficult puzzle to solve in a three-round fight. If they come up against each other again, then I think he'll be a little bit the, the wiser and may fancy his chances a bit more. But Rosanov, who was one of the favourites when this competition started due to the fact that he is a continental champion, he 